गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग वी आर वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग विथ आर इंटरेस्टिंग जर्नी इकोनॉमिक्स लिटिल बिट वी नो लिटिल बिट वी डोंट नो लिटिल बिट वी हैव टू यू नो अंडरस्टैंड मोर इन डेप एंड मोस्ट ऑफ इट वी हैव टू रिवाइज राइट सो वी हैव सीन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर वी हैव सीन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर क्वाइट इन डिटेल यू विल हैव टू रीड अ लॉट अबाउट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इज मोस्टली करंट बेस्ड सो दैट विल गेट कवर्ड वेन यूर करंट अफेयर्स क्लासेस स्टार्ट and you will get the material also and uh, you will get the source material you will get everything you just have to read and you have to try to understand without without skipping newspaper that is that is a sine qua non that is a condition which cannot be dispensed with right it is sine qua non it is it is you know extremely important you cannot avoid it you cannot avoid reading newspapers it is very 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 important okay so now we begin with a new we begin with a new subject we begin with a subject which is different which we might have not studied at all uh, in even in our school or even in uh, college level and that is agriculture now before starting with agriculture let me make a few things very clear agriculture is one of those rare topics which have far reaching effects in the syllabus agriculture is covered in gs1 in some matters is it is covered in gs2 it is in gs3 it is covered in multiple points also okay and in gs4 also if you want to stretch you can make the connection in gs4 as well so agriculture how we study or how one should approach agriculture is that i'll tell you so how one should approach agriculture is in gs1 in gs1 you have the science behind agriculture are you understanding you have the uh, concepts behind agriculture gs1 mein geography so what are the types of crops what are the climatic conditions required for which type of crops where they are grown where such climatic conditions are found that all you will find in geography i am sure bhushan sir must have covered it and ncert is are the best source for this no need to refer to anything else you will find lot many things in gs1 geography very important soil types of soil which soils are good for what what are the types of soil red soil black soil laterite soil etc montane soil saline soils then how evaporation affects the soil uh, rigidity or the texture of soil all that comes under agriculture it's a very big it's a very big topic but the one part would be covered in gs1 geography okay done very good the social aspect of agriculture social aspect farming or uh, whether to give uh, how to benefit farmers not economically but socially the social aspect of agriculture would be covered in gs2 you know there is a there is a uh, syllabus point vulnerable sections okay point number 12 vulnerable sections point number 13 skilling all that is covered skilling of farmers vulnerable section we have to protect farmers all that is covered under gs2 social justice okay the ethical aspects of farm loan waiver the ethical aspects of farmer suicides the ethical aspects of how as an officer you would want to protect the farmers would be covered in gs4 ethics whatever remains whatever remains would be covered in gs3 and what that remains is i will tell you gs3 there are two parts in gs3 you understood soil is required you understood what kind of temperature what kind of climate is required which crops would be grown where etc 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 you understood everything chalo very good the environmental aspects of agriculture pollution nitrogen pollution happens in agriculture because of excessive use of fertilizers nitrogen leaches into the soil right results in plant death crop death how nitrogen or how aerosolized fertilizers affect the uv rays or affects the ozone layer which results in harmful uv rays penetrating the earth surface everything you will cover in environment so one ncert might give you some topics for this some topics for this some topics for this some topics for this always be attentive to this fact 
it is not an exam of sources upsc has not written that ncert of standard 11 is the syllabus upsc has written agriculture is the syllabus in gs1 also it is their geography right so environment would come here and the economic aspect of agriculture ultimately economy is concerned with money yes or no the economic aspect of agriculture how to ensure farmers well being monetarily how to help them with higher levels of technology how to help them with higher productivity how to increase the overall income levels of farmers and overall food availability that all will come under economy part economy and agri basically gs3 economy and agri of gs3 small offshoots are also available small offshoots are there gs2 social justice point 13 and sorry point 14 What is point fourteen? Poverty and hunger. Now, poverty and hunger directly, at least the poverty aspect of it directly goes into economy as well. We are going to see poverty for a while, for half an hour. We'll see poverty, but this is the social aspect of it. So, point I'm trying to make is, it is a vast topic. It is an all-encompassing topic. It is an all-pervasive topic. It runs across GS one, two, three, four. but bear in mind that it is a general study subject not an optional subject not an expertise level uh, you know expertise level is not required right so we are going to cover this part and you have to cover this in environment this in social justice this in geography and some some by a stretch you can stretch it to ethics also if you want to okay so what we are concerned about is how remunerative agriculture is and what can be done for increasing the remuneration of farmers see simple reason simple logic you eat food grains you need food grains for your prosperity for your well being yes or no you need food yes very good do you need food at a cheaper price or at a costlier price you need food at a cheaper price but who is selling food farmers farmers will try to sell or farmers should sell the food grains at a costlier price or cheaper price costlier price because their remuneration is linked to that so this is a dilemma we are concerned with in economy ki what should be the prices how much should be given to farmers how much should be given to control inflation in the economy okay so the infrastructure part of it right we also have infrastructure in agriculture right we have infrastructure hard infrastructure we spoke about similarly hard infrastructure also comes here infra will also come here agricultural infrastructure would come here okay so agriculture is a very big topic which is covered across gs1 gs2 gs3 and we are concerned with three things one the economy of agriculture or economics of agriculture the money system of agriculture second to control inflation what should be the pricing to ensure that food reaches everyone right see there is a social aspect to this also but economic aspect dominates here there is an economic aspect but social aspect dominates so accordingly the subjects are bifurcated and lastly we are concerned with the agricultural infrastructure ki whether you are able to store everything rightly or not see crops are done soil is good water is good sunshine is good pesticide is good fertilizer is good everything is good okay you are you are able to give everything to the farmer social justice is also good there is no pollution also very good but there is no storage what will happen waste all this chain goes waste that is why we will study this part okay so now let us let us start the activity which we had done for economics we saw syllabus we saw past year questions and then we gauged what we need to study what we don't need to study depending on past year questions so we will see uh the past year questions and the syllabus now upsc has started asking questions from this plus karke upsc asks one question which tests both your gs3 point number 14 environment as well as gs3 point number 4567 or 456 agriculture and sometimes point 1 also okay so it is your duty to think in a very logical in a very connected manner see if i go to teach the environmental aspect of agriculture and the geographical aspect of agriculture i can do that it is very easy it is simple to understand but if i go to do that then i will take 10 more lectures to do it which is simply not practical okay similarly bhushan sir can take geography then environment and then economic aspect of agriculture he will take 10 more lectures 
so it is my uh, you know suggestion that when you study agriculture study it in a comprehensive manner you will find some aspects some source from some source materials for environment you will find some things from this yes upsc will not ask all these combined together but one or two it will combine for example it asks question in economy in gs3 it asks about water resources it is actually a geography question social justice question environment question least question is about economy but it is it is still asking in economy section right so you have to know that which section is dominating once you know ki it is asked in gs2 and not gs3 you should write social points first and last one two points you can write about economic gains or losses here you have to write all losses first and last one two point yes social and here gs4 you have to write both definitely gs4 is a all encompassing this this paper is actually very different from these papers it requires a very different kind of approach very different kind of study all uh, various examples you need to write here from your daily life and all but you don't need that in these chapters at the same time please bear in mind no expert level study is required for agriculture so don't go into the science of agriculture science se aata hai there is one more branch i hope you know this there is a point biotechnology nanotechnology this is in science and tech right so some technology which is helping agriculture which is helping farmers which is helping seeds production which is helping crop production gm crops i'm sure you must have heard genetically modified crops will come in science and technology snt right so this is one topic where it spreads its arms everywhere in all the papers chal let us see the syllabus very quickly by hearting the syllabus before that let us revise whether you know economy syllabus or not do you know economy syllabus let us revise economy syllabus what is point number 1 do you remember what is point number 1 ki lecture dekhte dekhte you forgot to revise we have spent three lectures only discussing syllabus first point first and foremost very important point indian economy and issues relating to planning mobilization of resources growth development employment yes or no planning mobilization of resources growth development employment these were the five sub points of point number 1 indian economy and issues relating to second point what was the second point inclusive growth and issues arising from it we are going to talk about inclusive growth also don't think ki ye ho gaya hai or you know i have left it no we will come back to that second point is inclusive growth and issues arising from it third point is government budgeting more or less we have completed government budgeting fiscal policy frbm everything we have done one small thing is remaining the finance committee recommendations we will see that also then we came to point number 8 changes in industrial policy and its effect on industrial growth right effect of liberalization on industrial policy changes in industrial policy and its effect on industrial growth and then ninth point ninth and tenth point we covered which were very different ninth was infrastructure ports roads airports railways etc and tenth point was investment models yes or no very simple now we come to the fourth point which we had skipped the fourth point 1 2 3 fourth point fifth point sixth point seventh point is very easy seventh point involves some reading of history seventh point involves some reading of agriculture of gs3 and seventh point involves some reading of economy of gs3 so once we complete economy agriculture history i am assuming ki you will do or you might have done then we will do land reforms in india because this this subject uh, or this syllabus point traces its root back to bhudan movement gramdan movement then your uh, agriculture uh, sorry land settlement systems reotwari mahalwari i am sure you must have heard in history so all of that will come we will not spend much time in 5 minutes we'll cover them because that is covered in detail in history but contemporarily what happens in land reforms we'll do that chalo fourth point it's a big point okay i want everyone to pay attention i want everyone to by heart here only after the lecture i will do aram se nothing here only you have to buy hard this major crops cropping patterns in various parts of the country first okay fourth point we are seeing it there are, it has uh, sub points first sub point is major crops and cropping patterns in various parts of the country second different types of irrigation and irrigation systems okay तो यहाँ पे कॉमा होना चाहिए आइडियली देर शुड बी ए कॉमा हियर स्टोरेज ट्रांसपोर्ट मार्केटिंग ऑफ वॉट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल गुड्स एंड वॉट माई फेवरेट वर्ड इशूज 
every syllabus point i have showed you almost every syllabus point there is the word issue issues and related constraints and e technology in the aid of farmers now i have also told you pay attention to the last sub point of every syllabus point because that is normally ignored or that is you know normally we don't reach there and upsc asks a very simple question on the last point and we are able to unable to answer see for example what is the last point here e technology in the aid of farmers what is the last point here economics of animal rearing what is the last point here supply chain management again i'll show you i'll go across subjects and i will show you wait see this this is a big 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 point this is the last point but it is a big point in fact this point is bigger than this but still it issues we did a wto trips and all that was the economic aspect of it here you will know the scientific aspect of it patent registration and all of those things theek hai see this last point very important and very different from the previous this is not i mean it is related but iska study is different from this and this and this and this eia environmental impact assessment has been asked in upsc paper so many times one more i'll show see this last point money laundering and its prevention it's a completely different point you have to study it separately i can show you n number of points gs2 me you can go in gs2 see this two words but in itself a different syllabus point do you know what is diaspora diaspora means indians living abroad okay so effect of policies and politics of developed and developing countries on india's interest that is fine it affects us every day indian diaspora is a separate syllabus point altogether so don't ignore these small points that is what i was trying to say coming back to fourth point do you remember what did we read in the first sub point of the fourth point major crops cropping patterns in various parts of the country okay if you are sitting at home then please recite loudly it will help you learn easier by heart easier effects of crop nahi crops and cropping patterns in various parts of the country different types of irrigation and irrigation systems storage so see it is very logical very simple first what crop do you need to grow first question second question how will you grow you will need irrigation you will need i hope you know irrigation in all basic words eh theek hai third after irrigation you grow the crops everything very good what you will do you will store after storage what you will do you will transport to the warehouse or to the reseller or to anyone then what you will do marketing of your agricultural products yes or no and in all of these you will face some issues right and then you will use, you will use technology for these issues nowadays we use technology for these issues yes or no this is the fourth syllabus point very simple is it clear right without looking can we try major crops cropping patterns in various parts of the country different types of irrigation and irrigation systems then storage transport ma marketing of agricultural produce and issues and related constraints and how to solve them e technology in the aids of farmers aid of farmers simple how many points major crops irrigation storage transport marketing and uh, issue nahi issues to hai and e technology five to six sub points recite again with me major crops and cropping patterns in various parts of the country different types of irrigation and irrigation systems storage transport marketing of agricultural produce and issues and related constraints and e technology in the aid of farmers yes or no simple very simple fourth point very simple straight forward now we thought from the farmer side right he will decide which crop then he will use irrigation then he will store he will transport market he will face some issues and e technology in the aid of farmers now while the farmer is doing this what is the government doing what is the government doing government is trying to solve his problems at various stages government has schemes and all that is the fifth point fifth point is all about government intervention so think of this as a farmer side think of this as a government side क्या है सी सी द फर्स्ट वर्ड इट सेल्फ इशूज एवरी टाइम एवरीवेयर इशूज इज द वर्ड हियर ठीक है इशूज रिलेटिंग टू वॉट डायरेक्ट एंड इनडायरेक्ट फार्म सब्सिडीज इशूज रिलेटिंग टू डायरेक्ट एंड इनडायरेक्ट फार्म सब्सिडीज एंड मिनिमम सपोर्ट प्राइजेस एम एस पी राइट सो इशूज रिलेटिंग सी दे हैव नॉट आस्ट टू वॉट इज दिस दे हैव आस्ट इशूज क्या है सो बाई डिफॉल्ट यू नीड टू नो वॉट इज दिस फर्स्ट issues related to direct and indirect farm subsidies and minimum support prices one second so see in one also there are two things 
सब्सिडीज एंड एमएसपी बराबर ना इश्यूज रिलेटिंग टू डायरेक्ट एंड इनडायरेक्ट सब्सिडीज वन एमएसपी टू सेकेंड पॉइंट पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम पीडीएस very specifically they have mentioned what all they might ask objectives what is the objective of pds what are the what is the functioning what are the limitations how do you revamp it see after after you have limitations you will try to solve it revamp it again what is the what is the word issues issues every single time issues what are the issues of buffer stock and food security now poverty and hunger is also there in gs 2.14 but here they are talking about food security they are talking about the economic implication of it they are also talking about the logistics part of it ki how will you ensure food security do you have storage do you have enough grains did you encourage farmers to produce so much are you giving them at a low price ki ki grains hai but unaffordable hai then also food security is in danger see all of these things economic thing from the economic angle will come here technology missions it is nothing but technology See here it was e-technology in that of farmers. Here it is government use of technology that is known as technology missions. It is a very uh, polished word technology missions. It is nothing but technology which the government uses. And finally, very different point but very important point: economics of animal rearing. You know honestly, this this economics of animal rearing, I think it should come in point four because it is from a farmer's angle more, right? But ठीक है पॉइंट फाइव तो पॉइंट फाइव वील डू इट इन पॉइंट फाइव कैन वी कैन वी रिकलेक्ट वॉट डिड वी रीड इन पॉइंट फाइव कैन वी ट्राई वॉट वॉज पॉइंट फाइव इशूज रिलेटिंग टू डायरेक्ट एंड इनडायरेक्ट फार्म सब्सिडीज एंड मिनिमम सपोर्ट प्राइजेस सेकेंड पी डी एस ऑब्जेक्टिव लिमिटेशन ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शनिंग लिमिटेशन रीवैम्पिंग देन इशूज रिलेटिंग टू बफर स्टॉक्स देन टेक्नोलॉजी मिशन एंड देन इकोनॉमिक्स ऑफ एनिमल रेरिंग ओके डिड वी कवर एवरीथिंग येस Again, what is the fifth syllabus point? Issues relating to direct and indirect farm subsidies. Second, PDS objectives, functioning limitations, revamping, revamping. उसके बाद नहीं कुछ. Issues of buffer stock and food security, technology missions, economics of animal rearing. There are five things here. Five things you have to buy hard. Five things you have to prepare. The easy part about agriculture is that जो syllabus में है, they ask you that only. Very less analysis is required. In economics, lot of analysis is required: savings rate, growth rate, investment rate, etc., etc. In agriculture, very less analysis is required. Once we complete entire agriculture, point four five six, I will quickly take you through. This four five six will be covered in approx three lectures, three to four lectures. After that, I'll quickly take you through this year's economic survey agriculture chapter. If we are able to understand more than fifty sixty percent of it, our job is done because you have to study the next year, which is which will come in Jan. Okay. Anyways, can we recollect again four five again? What was the fourth point? What was the fourth point? Major crops, cropping patterns in various parts of the country. Then, irrigation and irrigation systems, storage, transport, marketing of agricultural produce and issues and related constraints. E technology in the aid of farmers. Yes or no? Bravo, na? What is the fifth point? issues of direct and indirect farm subsidies and minimum support price very important if you skip this see all the questions are surrounded around msp so don't there it is very important pds objectives functioning limitations revamping then issues of buffer stock and food security we might tend to forget this issues of buffer stock and food security then technology mission so every time there is technology technology and economics of animal rearing i hope you understand what is econ see see This is where they are explaining ki what is the agri syllabus economics of animal rearing. So the entire agri syllabus is actually economics of agriculture, money side of agriculture. ठीक है? How much does it contribute to GDP? Out of total value of goods and services produced in the economy, which is GDP, how much is agriculture? How much is capital goods? How much is consumer goods? Okay. Six point. चलो. Farmer done everything. Government gave him support. Now what? Either we consume, no problem. Or someone else, some uh, multinational company buys those agricultural produce. Have you eaten parleji at some point of your life? What is it made of? Is it made of agricultural goods? Of course, it is made of maida. Or even if it is made of wheat, or even if it has dry fruits, it has anything. It is ultimately agricultural goods. So let's say parleji, parle company gets maida from uh, farmers. Then what? Food processing and related related industries in India. 
स्कोप क्या है विच मीन्स की वॉट इज द टाइप ऑफ फूड प्रोसेसिंग इंडस्ट्रीज एक्सेट्रा वॉट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस सी इवन टूडे यू विल बी एबल टू राइट द आंसर टू दिस सिग्निफिकेंस ये सर नो वाई डू वी नीड सच इंडस्ट्रीज राइट लोकेशन वेर आर दे लोकेटेड एक्जैक्टली आर दे लोकेटेड विद इन इंडिया आर दे लोकेटेड ऑन द कोस्टल एरियाज ऑफ इंडिया आर दे लोकेटेड नियर द मार्केट्स आर दे लोकेटेड नियर द रॉ मटेरियल आर दे लोकेटेड इन नॉर्दर्न पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया आर दे लोकेटेड इन सदर्न पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया और हिली रीजन और प्लेन रीजन और कोस्टल रीजन और हिंटरलैंड that all do you know you have a syllabus similar point in gs1 this location see this i told you in the first lecture only you are sitting at home and doing time pass that you know learn the syllabus by heart the syllabus kahan gaya geography see this location of primary secondary and tertiary industries in various parts of the world including india तो फूड प्रोसेसिंग भी आ जाता है इन दिन सो वी विल कवर इट स्पेसिफिकली फूड प्रोसेसिंग बट मेजरली यू हैव टू कवर इट हियर प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी टर्सरी बिकॉज एवरीथिंग कम्स हियर प्राइमरी भी आ गया ना सेकेंडरी भी आ गया मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इज आल्सो हियर डू यू रिमेंबर इन इन्फ्लेशन चैप्टर वॉट इज कोर इन्फ्लेशन यू रिमूव समथिंग एंड देन यू गेट कोर इन्फ्लेशन वॉट डू यू रिमूव फूड फूड प्रोडक्ट्स एंड फ्यूल राइट What is food products? Food processing, processed food, anything packet में जो भी आता है, whatever is in packet, ठीक है? Instant noodles, Maggi, cake और um, Parleji biscuits, pickles, right? We'll do that. We'll do. We'll go to point six. कहाँ गया point six? हाँ, so. Food processing and related industries in India. What is their scope? What is their significance? This is school level. Okay. The first part is school level. Second, we go a little bit deeper. Where are they located? The answer is they are located everywhere. To be very honest, they are not look. Food processing industries are not located specifically. They are located at major in major states. They are located in coastal areas also, hinterlands also. Why hinterlands closer to railway station? Why coastal states closer to ports? Right. But yes, in GS one, when you read specific industry wise, where is coal industry, where is rubber industry, where is jute industry located, then you will, then the significance of this syllabus point increases. Upstream and downstream requirements. Who will tell me what is upstream and downstream requirements? Try to take a guess. Try to see. This is how UPSC MCQs are also solved. Try to see the context in which it is written. Try to see उसके आगे पीछे का what whatever is written behind it in front of it, and then try to take a guess what can they mean by upstream and downstream. In CSAT we do this right in maths, speed of boat upstream, speed of boat downstream. This is exactly not that. This is not that. Think. Think, think, upstream and downstream. Basically, input and output. Okay, so for a food processing industry, what is the input? Raw materials, raw agricultural materials, right? Not coal and all. Food, food products. So, farmer is the input provider. Yes or no? Is it upstream or downstream? It is upstream. So, upper se aaya and niche aaya pass it on. It is like that. Okay. Is it forward or backward? If I ask you, is farmer forward to the biscuit manufacturer or backward to the biscuit manufacturer? Backward. Forward is the customer. Kitchen me banta hai. Farmer gives raw material behind him, right? Backward. Forward is the customer, right? We know, right? Raw material production customer. So this is forward. This is backward. Raw material production customer. This is upward. This is downward. Okay. What they have written upstream and downstream requirements, supply chain management. Okay, is this okay? Can we recollect what is written in point six without looking? Food processing and see this is also very important. Related now, what is what is the meaning of related? When you buy a box of parleji or when you buy a packet of parleji, what do you think is the related industry to making parleji? Look at the box. 
or look at the packet and see what else has gone into the packet apart from the biscuit. Kya, kya, what do you think? See, this is all common sense. When I show you the question, you will feel that this is not there in the books. These are all common sense points, especially food processing. What do you think? Which all industries are working to give you that product apart from the biscuit itself? Can I say packaging? Can I say printing? Can I say advertising? Branding? Yes or no? All of them come under related industry. But related to food processing only. So, advertising of ICICI Bank is irrelevant, but advertisement of Haldiram's Foods is relevant. Okay? Scope, significance, location, upstream, downstream requirements, and finally, supply chain management. What is supply chain management? What is supply chain management? From start to end, the entire supply chain, right from the farmer to the final consumer, the management is supply chain management. Yes or no? Have you ever heard of Big Bazaar, Reliance Fresh, nowadays the online Big Basket and Grofers and what not, right? Uspe question hai. How do they manage their inventory? No, they, you will not find the answer to this in books. It is all common sense. It is all your visualization capacity. If you are in charge of big bazaar, if you are selling watermelon, then how will you ensure that water, good quality watermelon reaches the customer and at the same time, remunerative price is reaches the farmer who is you know actually producing watermelon. Can we recollect what is there in point 0.6 very quickly? Food processing and related industries, uska kya? scope and significance, location, upstream, downstream requirement, supply chain management. Yes or no? This is nothing but a uh, reiteration of backward and forward linkages, upward and downward, upstream, downstream. It is nothing but entire 1 to 6. Vesa. Right? Can we recollect what is there in point 4 without looking? What is there in point 4? Major crops, cropping paddy, yeah. different types of irrigation and irrigation systems, storage, transport, marketing of agricultural produce and issues and related constraints, e-technology in the aid of farmers. Yes or no? What is there in point six? Can uh, point five? Can we recollect? Point five is issues relating to direct and indirect farm subsidy and minimum support price. Very very important. PDS objectives, functioning, limitations, revamping. Very important issues relating to buffer stock and food security. Right. Then comes technology missions and then comes economics of animal rearing. Can we recollect what is there in point 6? Point 6 is food processing. Now we have grown the crops, stored them, transported them, marketed them, government gave subsidy also, MSP also, sub ho gaya. Now you process them further, right? Food processing and related industries in India, scope and significance, location, upstream, downstream requirements, and supply chain management. Now, do you notice? Do you notice, see, see the way, these are very common points, common for agriculture, common for industry, common for everyone. This is core agriculture, core agriculture, core agriculture. What is this? Industries. We are slowly transiting towards industries now. See this, industries and then hard infrastructure. So this syllabus is structured in a specific manner. So they first first they ask you to know the basics that we have covered till date in 40 45 lectures the basics what is inflation etc now we will go what how does it affect agriculture then we will see how does it affect industry and we have already seen how how does it affect the investment models and infrastructure right what are the issues in ppp we have seen all of that in investment models okay can we see the questions are you ready to see the questions of past year which have come from 4 5 6 UPSC questions. Okay. Point number four, I hope you can recollect point number four. Major crops, cropping patterns, wala jo point hai wo. So, please remove that paper which we had started at the beginning of the course. Please tell me you have that paper safely. Please tell me you did not uh, write, uh, you know, just write anything and threw the paper away. Please tell me that you actually wrote and you have kept it aside. Pause the video here. 
take that paper out then resume the video and then we will continue okay so i hope you have the paper now i hope you um, you have maintained it very well that will last you till the day of your interview so please please do not lose that paper do this for every subject i had told you apart from gs4 gs4 also you have to do this but the thing is gs4 may you it is difficult to fit questions into one particular syllabus point chalo we we have a list of questions now point number 1 2 8 9 10 i hope we have a questions of point number 1 2 1 2 3 8 9 10 right okay we had seen questions of point number 1 2 3 8 9 10 now we'll go to question number sorry point number 4 let us see point number 4 major crops cropping pattern say what has been asked in 2017 question 14 i i don't have to train you you have to write this down in point number 14 dash karke 2017 question 14 we'll see 2017 question 14 in point number 4 2017 question 14 See this. So this is four. Sorry, sorry. See this. It's a fifteen marker question, so pay attention. It's a fifteen marker, so you have to write good introduction, good conclusion to it. You have to explain the concepts a little bit in detail. Point number four, two thousand seventeen. Question number fourteen. What is the question? Let us try to analyze the question. What has been asked? what are the major reasons for declining rice and wheat yield in the cropping system rice and wheat yield in the cropping system what do you mean by yield what do you mean by yield production rice and wheat yield decline because of loss of land productivity it is not that lesser and lesser farmers are going for rice and yield we'll see all that theek okay? hai you just have to write the question number you just have to write the question number what are the reasons for declining rice and wheat yield in the cropping system so first part is the reasons major reasons pucha hai first part is the major reasons for declining rice and wheat yield so you have to give reason 1 reason 2 reason 3 reason 4 reason 5 simple second part how crop diversification is helpful to stabilize the yield of the crops in the system now you know what in the very initial lectures i told you that you should write what is asked and not what you know we know a lot of things but what is asked answer that we write something else only i had given the example of a toll you know if you want to go to counter 2 and you take your car to counter 3 you reach the destination but just thoda side similarly when you write a very good answer here you will reach the requirements of this question but little bit off beat what is asked here yield the focus is on yield okay so what are the re major reasons for declining rice and wheat yield rice and wheat are little bit less important compared to the concept of yield and how crop diversification is helpful to stabilize the yield of the crops in the system not rice and wheat only crops overall crop diversification pe ye question hai overall this question is on crop diversification and you know these questions are directly picked from editorials so one editorial might have come of, of ms swaminathan uh he he was the um, he was the chairman of national committee on farmers 2001 2002 and second national committee on farmers also and third national committee on farmers also and he is considered to be the agricultural uh, expert of india foremost ms swaminathan you can search about him right he has a he has swaminathan foundation which works towards improving agricultural techniques very good very qualified guy so what are the major reasons for declining rice and wheat in the wheat yield in the cropping system that is done second is a broader question do you realize this how crop diversification is helpful to stabilize the yield of the crops in the system so they are asking about crop diversification so you have to define what is crop diversification second and then you have to say how is it helpful to stabilize the yield of the crops in the system so you have to write crop diversification is xyz and it helps in stabilization of yield in the following manner 1 2 3 4 5 6 7, 8, 9. okay that is the requirement of the question it's a 15 marker question now you only tell me would the first part have much more weightage or the second part would have much more weightage try to recollect the analysis we have done for economic questions the first part is just 
give reason school type second part is actually you have to think and analyze how it is helpful to stabilize see they have not asked the benefits of crop diversification specifically they are asking how is it helpful to stabilize the yield what we write benefits of crop diversification overall we write so if you write overall benefits of crop diversification out of 10 points two points would be relevant to stabilize the yield rest eight points are very correct very meaningful but not relevant yes or no okay you have written crop diversification ka benefits very good chalo but you have not written how is it helpful to stabilize the yield then there is a problem benefits can be hundreds which might not even relate to yield this is what this is where students lose marks they write a lot of things about crop diversification but nobody writes ki how it is helpful to stabilize the yield right chalo understood so 2017 question 14 in your notes done just the number then we will see 2018 question 14 same question number i told you this also many times same question number is repeated for same syllabus topic 2018 question 2018 question 14 its quality scan quality is not good i have taken this from upsc website just imagine see this read it try to read it try to read the 14th question or not the 13th question the 14th question how has the emphasis on certain crops brought about changes in cropping patterns in recent past very broad question second part is specific elaborate the emphasis on millets production and consumption what is millets what are millets any idea coarse grains what are coarse grains have you heard of ragi have you heard of jowar have you heard of bajra millets don't confuse it with pulses pulses what are pulses moong tur right chana all pulses millets are something very different millets are coarse cereals so where they are grown where how they grow we'll see that but we'll see that in brief because agriculture geography mein aata hai that part of agriculture how has the emphasis on certain crops brought about changes in cropping patterns in the recent past indirectly they are talking about pulses and sugarcane two things and soya bean in odisha so i'll tell you this was asked in 2018 and 2017 there was an indian express editorial which spoke about these things half question can be addressed from that editorial half some other means so i remembered i had read that editorial and i had made notes so that editorial had an example of odisha ki odisha mein soya bean planting is increasing which is actually helping the farmers so you can give that example here because the first is a very broad part second me they are asking on Uh, millet production elaborate the emphasis on millet production and consumption now here also there are two parts did you notice production and consumption so what are we trying to do to emphasize millet production how are we encouraging millet producers what facility schemes we are giving how are we trying to encourage millet production uh, consumption theek okay? hai because they are source of protein they are source of complex carbohydrates they give instant energy they give sustainable energy not like rice and uh, sugar which you know which are empty calories right so this was also 15 marker question not so easy if you think about it but if you have prepared it well if you have prepared current affairs well actually see the problem with current affairs also is that current affairs you study as current affairs but you should link that with this so whenever you read an editorial you should it should immediately click oh this is an example of change in cropping pattern so tomorrow let's say article will come ki uh, sugarcane cropping has drastically increased in maharashtra you should know ki in the syllabus point this is the hitting point cropping patterns yes or no 
see that article will speak about sugarcane production how is it working frp and all of those things but you should know ki that applies here cropping patterns point number 4 theek hai that nobody is going to tell you that you have to do it on your own theek hai so 2018 question 14 ho gaya then we see 2016 question 7 2016 question 7 2016 question 7 now tell me is it not a school based question is it not a school like question what is asked 12 and half mark kara what is asked what is water use efficiency you have to just define and you have to explain one or two points about water use efficiency right so basically what is efficiency chalo you, you don't know what is water use efficiency what is efficiency what is efficiency how much inputs you are putting and how much output you are getting water use efficiency how much water you are drawing from wells and how much you are actually using for productive purpose so what is your efficiency thoda fancy likhna hai i agree you have to write it in a proper fancy manner but that is water use efficiency what is the second part role of micro irrigation in increase the water now you know what will happen you only tell me what mistake will happen in this question in the second part we will write about micro irrigation benefits wo other track will take but what they have asked in increasing the water use efficiency so first you need to determine ki how do you measure water use efficiency what are the parameters of water use efficiency and then how micro irrigation helps in achieving those parameters see i'll i'll give you a very good example describe the role of teachers in increasing your marks this is like that so teachers help you in various manners they give you guidance they give you mentoring they give you support sometimes even in personal life they offer you support and advice right question was how do they help in increasing your marks like again you should not write in a broad manner ki they help us study well they explain the concepts well what do you mean by marks six subjects five subjects whatever there in school how does teacher help you in economics how does teacher help you in history that you have to write are you getting the specific level that we are going that will fetch you marks see imagine these questions i'll be very very honest with you these questions are asked by senior level bureaucrats by ministers to officers tomorrow when designing a policy on water use efficiency a new scheme is going to be designed you are there in that department you are working as an is officer you will get an email ki please prepare a broad draft on water use efficiency and how can we use that to increase uh, sorry how can we use micro irrigation to increase water use efficiency now tell me what will you write the same thing they are asking here so they are making sure you become an officer even before you start your training in academy theek hai you should have the habit of answering precisely bulsa hit karo and that is exactly what we are not taught in school we are taught ki first give background then introduce then two three points and then conclude here you have to hit one two lines it is a 12 marker so three three four lines introduction you have to give you have to define water use efficiency quickly start with role of micro irrigation but what is role of micro irrigation sufficient no in increasing water use efficiency and what aspects of water use efficiency water use efficiency try to split this word into various parts what aspects of water use efficiency it can be quantity it can be quality also right it can be which source you are using for efficient use of water and how micro irrigation helps you do that simple that is the requirement of the question i am sure when you first read the question you would have thought something else or you know on a very broad level right always keep the teacher wala example in mind how will teacher help you gain marks this is the question so first to we should not write how does teacher help you overall how does teacher help you gain marks but even that specifics which subject marks are we talking about which exam marks are we talking about utne level tak jana ठीक है फॉर दैट वन ईयर इज इनफ इफ यू थिंक यू कैन गो टू दैट लेवल टूडे देन यू डोंट नीड वन ईयर राइट 
मतलब डोंट एक्सपेक्ट टू मच फ्रॉम योर सेल्फ टूडे कि अरे आई एम नॉट एबल टू डू इट नो बडी इज एबल टू डू इट इन द फर्स्ट डे ओके यू रोड टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन क्वेश्चन सेवन इन योर लिस्ट इट यू राइट टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन क्वेश्चन सेवन इन योर लिस्ट ओके टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन सेम पेपर वी आर गोइंग टू सी सेम पेपर क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन सेम है अच्छा टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन पेपर टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन फोर फाइव मंथ बिफोर दिस पेपर Scheme has been launched. Hence, what they have asked? What do you mean by vagaries? Randomness. Very vague. We say na very vague. Did you understand the question? First of all, we have a scheme. We have an insurance scheme. Fasal Bima Yojana. We have an insurance scheme called as Fasal Bima Yojana, Fasal Bima Yojana, which means crop insurance. Basically, they are talking about crop insurance. For example, drought happens, flood happens, crops are destroyed. We see now rains are happening in Mumbai, in Maharashtra, various parts. Crops are getting destroyed. You know, mango prices fell by a lot this season in Maharashtra. So normally, uh, Alfonso mangoes normally in the month of May. they trade around 500 600 rupees per dozen right this time we got it at 300 rupees 300 350 and that two top quality very very rare ones which are normally exported one export market was also down because of pandemic and everything so they had to unload that in the domestic market only supply was so high people did not have money to buy mangoes because of covid plus rainfall had you know damaged the crop so the crop was damaged they unload to avoid further damage they started releasing all the crop before and only normally when rainfall and all happens crop prices increase because everything is destroyed but here it was just starting so they unloaded all the stock first only and then 300 350 even sometimes 250 mein alfonso mangoes can you imagine 250 mein alfonso mangoes never and even alfonso has various qualities the top quality i'm talking about you get 250 300 mein alfonso but they are of a little bit lower quality right normally i don't eat much mangoes but this time i before coming here i had a lot seeing the price it became affordable to me given the vulnerability of indian agriculture to vagaries of nature discuss the need for crop insurance one need is also asked second salient features are asked see i told you in scheme they can ask either features they can ask either benefits they can ask either limitations they can ask कि व्हाट मोर इंप्रूवमेंट्स आर रिक्वायर्ड यस और नो पीडीएस का क्या है सिलेबस पॉइंट ऑब्जेक्टिव्स फंक्शनिंग लिमिटेशंस रिवैम्पिंग व्हाट आर दे आस्ट फीचर्स ऑब्जेक्टिव्स एंड फंक्शनिंग का मिक्स दे हैव आस्ट फीचर्स दे हैव नॉट आस्ट वेदर इट विल बी वेरी गुड और वेदर इट विल बी वेरी बैड दे हैव नॉट आस्ट फॉर योर ओपिनियन सो यू शुड कंक्लूड कि इट्स अ वेरी गुड स्कीम इन द राइट डायरेक्शन बट वन टू थ्री नीड्स टू बी टेकन केयर ऑफ बिकॉज नो स्कीम इज ब्रिलियंट और नो स्कीम इज यू नो covering or addressing all the uh, all the problems so now you can conclude ha had they asked you ki what do you think will this be will this scheme be successful then you have to take then you have to write very less features and you have to actually write about the impact of these features but here they have not asked it's a very very straightforward very simple question in 2016 gs2 was very tough compared to gs3 gs3 they had made very easy gs2 they had made very tough In 2014, GS2 they had made very easy. GS3 they had made very tough. So normally one paper is thoda high level ka. In 2017 or 18, I think GS1 was very tough. They had asked anything they had asked. ठीक है? चलो. I hope you have written this 2017. Sorry, 2016 question 10. Okay. Where does this come? Which syllabus point does this come? Which sub point does this come? Insurance, crop insurance. Where does it come? We are talking about point four only now. But in point four, where? Cropping patterns and storage. Storage may be damage. होता है. Insurance लगता है. We need insurance. So mainly with respect to cropping patterns and storage, right? And technically, this if you know about this scheme, then this also comes in e-technology in the aid of farmers. because this is a mobile operated scheme 
you click the photo crop damage you click the photo you send it you will get your compensation survey hoga and then you will get your compensation this is e technology in the aid of farmers ka bhi mix hai 2016 question 10 i hope you have written this in your notes let us go to 2015 2015 question 4 2015 question 4 very heavy file it seems first write it down 2015 question 4 write in your list 2015 question 4 read the question tell me which syllabus point is it coming from e technology in the aid of farmers right e technology in the aid of farmers when i ask you which syllabus point you have to be very specific with respect to the sub point also so e technology in the aid of farmers there was two things how does digital india help improve farm productivity one and income second so don't club them and don't write generic answers and then what steps has the government taken in this regard so you have to know about digital india yes or no you have to know about digital india sir how to know about digital india science and tech it's a scheme for connectivity it's a science and tech it space computers etc it mein aata hai digital india right what steps has the government taken in this regard very broad question very open ended question you can write anything which can fit in this criteria but at the same time you have to write how does it help farm income and farm productivity dono alag hai both are different farm productivity means land how does it improve land so for example digital india say farmers get broadcast of forecast of uh, weather so they are able to prepare the land beforehand if they see there is a forecast of a flood then they will not so after the flood happens or after the storm passes then they will start right so that helps improve farm productivity okay and farm income they will get information about the minimum prices which are there in the market they will get real time prices they will get what are the prices of subsidies uh, sorry what are the prices of fertilizers what are the subsidies which are being given their income also improves theek okay? hai is it okay 2015 question number 4 then we go to 2019 question number 4 2019 question number 4 kya hai impact of national watershed project in creating sorry increasing agricultural production from water stressed areas this is completely geography question okay but what are they asking agricultural production how has it helped agricultural production do you know we have which syllabus point which irrigation irrigation systems irrigation water related everything comes under irrigation so again national watershed project scheme based hai you will notice in gs3 and gs2 lot of schemes are being asked sir how to study schemes schemes will be covered in your current affairs don't worry about that schemes will be covered in your current affairs santosh sir will take current affairs lectures he will cover the schemes he will give you source material he will give you booklets also don't worry about that worry about covering basic concepts that we are doing here economics agriculture history geography polity cover these first schemes reports international organizations environment national parks everything will be covered don't worry about it okay 2019 question number 4 i hope you have written this 2019 question number 5 but the speciality is that it is science plus agriculture so it is along with science 2019 question number 5 
वॉट इज टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन क्वेश्चन फाइव रीड द क्वेश्चन ट्राई टू रीड इट we will we will use this name in the context of planning okay he was so engineers day is celebrated in his honor in india sir m mokshukandam vishveshwaraya okay he was a very prominent engineer helpful uh, or uh, main main brain behind planning in india and ms swaminathan i told you he is the he is considered the father of modern agriculture in india so they are asking water engineering and agriculture science so i am vishweshwarya water engineering agriculture science ms swaminathan now this is a very difficult question especially for second uh, first part m vishweshwarya in the field of water engineering this is difficult why because this becomes very specific and this becomes not related to economics of agriculture per se do you agree with this because this is completely going into engineering now this is completely going into technical field we don't have to write technical answers so m vishweshwaraya and dr m s swaminathan these are all legends in their field and their interviews keep on coming their uh, speeches keep on coming so when you read about them you should know what are their contributions they are they are given in the speeches only even if you write two three points here see i am not saying this question is easily answerable i am honestly telling it is not this question is one of those tough ones which you know you know or you don't know little bit you are confused somewhere in the middle so your ms swaminathan you have to know everything because we cover that in our agriculture syllabus in current also ms swaminathan committee recommendations will keep on appearing at least 50 times in your preparation so this you can take care of m vishweshwarya little bit difficult i'll be very honest okay so did you write 2019 question 5 2019 question 5 ke baad we will go to 2019 mein hi we will go to question number 3 what is 2019 question number 3 See, did you notice they are asking two things in agriculture questions? One, how to improve land productivity. Second, how to improve incomes. Anything you study will be related to positive impact on the land productivity or positive impact on the efficiency of agriculture, or and positive impact on the income of the farmer. Itna hi hai. So everything you should see from the filter of that. How far is integrated farming system helpful in sustaining agricultural production? we you should know what is integrated farming system once you know that it will you can easily write they are not asking you benefits of integral uh, integrated farming system are they asking you benefits they are asking how is it helpful in what sustaining agricultural production now you have to break down sustaining agricultural production how do you measure whether the agricultural production is sustainable or not what are the metrics sustainable right so productivity doesn't go below a certain point that is one of the metric um fertilizer use is restricted that is one of the metric if it con constantly it is using more and more fertilizer it is not sustainable right soil harm harm to soil is less water use is efficient that that is how you measure sustain sustainability of agricultural production then you have to write how does ifs integrated farming system help you with that so how does integrated farming system help you with maintaining the soil quality how does integrated farming system help you with maintaining the pesticide use or you know reducing the pesticide use or preventing the uh, excess use of fertilizers that you have to write this is 2019 question 3 i hope you have written this so 3 4 5 30 question sorry 30 marks instant 30 marks from only one syllabus point point number 4 you yes know see these are all types of farming cropping patterns all of this it comes here only then we go to did we write 2015 question 4 then we go to 2014 question number 3 2014 question number 3 write that 2014 question number 3 
a big questions see this tell me the sub point of the syllabus tell me the syllabus sub point What is the syllabus sub point? Marketing, marketing. Okay, marketing, market committees. Two things we'll take away from here. One, APMCs have impeded development of agriculture second they have also caused food inflation in india right and currently apmcs and all those are in news because all farm protests are happening i hope you are aware on the borders all across delhi borders haryana side other side also on the borders uh, farm protests are happening farmers are protesting we'll discuss why they are protesting what are their demands and all we'll discuss that in brief because current means so anyways that will be covered in depth that is why we study current affairs uh, you know in detail so this question is now very relevant this question is very very relevant in current times so as it is this question can repeat in 2021 or 22 paper as it is copy paste it can happen okay so first we need to know what is apmc how does it work what uh, what are the negatives what are the positives why it was set up etc so we'll see that right 2014 question 3 did you write it then we go to 2020 question 3 2020 question 3 latest question yeah 2020 see this is it a very easy question yes it's a very easy question very broad question what are the main constraints in transport and marketing of agriculture produce in india is it not picked straight from the syllabus issues relating to storage transport marketing transport and marketing they have asked two things storage nahi pucha hai, which means storage might come this year or next year also and a transport and marketing has been asked Always keep in mind it's a 10 marker. So even if you have 50 points, you have the space to write only 8 to 10 points. So 8 to 10 best points you have to write instead of 50 worst points. That makes it difficult, right? 2013 question 3. Uh, sorry, 2020 question 3. 2020 question 13. 2020 question 13. Cropping patterns, direct question. What are the major factors responsible for making rice wheat system? Rice wheat means cereals. Cereals. Okay. Cereals. In spite of this success, how has this system become bane in India? What is bane? Curse. Right? So, why, why are they calling it as bane? So, we call our food structure or agricultural structure as serialization has happened serialization what do you mean by serialization only cereals are being grown rice wheat rice wheat rice wheat everywhere no sign of pulses no sign of coarse grains recently we have started picking up no sign of oil seeds production only rice wheat rice wheat there are reasons for that we are going to see those reasons but why it is a bane because these all are water guzzling crops these all uh, you know growing same crop back to back deteriorates the soil quality a lot that is why it has become a bane and plus we don't have any other expertise in any other crop 
ऑयल सीड्स वी हैव टू इंपोर्ट ऑयल वाई बिकॉज वी कैंट प्रोड्यूस ऑयल सीड्स ठीक है सो दैट इज वाई सीरियलाइजेशन हैज बिकम अ बेन एंड करेंटली वी हैव सरप्लस फूड वी आर नॉट फूड डिपेंडेंट वी डोंट इम्पोर्ट फूड आर्टिकल्स ये सो ना वी डोंट इम्पोर्ट राइस वी एक्सपोर्ट राइस बट इतना कर कर लिया कि अदर थिंग्स वी हैव टू इम्पोर्ट सो दैट इज वाई इट हैज बिकम अ बेन I hope you written, you have written 2020 question 13. Surprisingly, one more question is asked. So this was 15 marker. One more question 15 marker 30. And before that we saw question 3 10 marker 40 marks out of 250. 40 marks coming from not not agriculture. One syllabus point point number four. Hey na? So important. Why why? Because the points are very less. थ्री पॉइंट है फोर फाइव सिक्स उसमें से ही आएगा एग्रीकल्चर से क्वेश्चन फोर्टीन रीड द क्वेश्चन Suggest measures to improve water storage. Storage they have asked, and irrigation system to make its judicious use under depleting scenario. So they are asking a lot of questions on water, yes or no? Because water scarcity is, sab kuch less hai. So they are asking a lot of questions on water. But straightforward question is suggest measures to improve water storage and irrigation system to make its judicious use under depleting scenario. You know what? The answer to this is found in NCERT also. वाटर स्टोरेज कैसे इंप्रूव करते हैं डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इरीगेशन डैम्स एंड ऑल बिल्डिंग डैम्स ऑल दोज थिंग्स द ओनली थिंग इज यू हैव टू गिव एग्जाम्पल्स गुड एग्जाम्पल्स एन सी आर टी इज वेरी बेसिक लेवल सो न्यूज पेपर्स विल हेल्प यू डू दैट पॉइंट इज इवन वन आर्टिकल ऑफ न्यूज पेपर के नॉट बी मिस्ड और इवन वन डे ऑफ न्यूज पेपर के नॉट बी मिस्ड ओके चलो सजेस्ट मेजर्स टू इम्प्रूव वाटर स्टोरेज एंड इरीगेशन सिस्टम टू मेक इट जुडिशियस यूज एंड डिप्रेटिंग सीनारियो so obviously it's a 15 marker it is that makes this question a difficult question so water storage one and irrigation two i hope you have made this division in your mind ki water storage is one thing and irrigation is another thing but kya karna kya hai what you have to do improve them so that uh use is more beneficial so basically they are asking suggest measures to improve the efficiency of water storage and irrigation system yes or no judicious use karna hai right Okay, so 2020 question 14. Did you write 2020 question 14? Okay. Okay. That was all for point number four. What is point number four? Major crops, cropping patterns in various parts of the country. Then. irrigation irrigation system storage transport marketing and issues and constraints e technology in the aid of farmers okay now we go to point 5 point 5 is issues relating to direct and indirect farm subsidies and minimum support price pds objectives functions limitations revamping very important issues of buffer stock and food security then technology missions and then finally economics of animal rearing so let us see so now obviously if you if you saw that Three questions are asked from point four. Point five say none are asked in 2020 paper. Normally four and five are playing with each other. So if four say आते हैं, so five से नहीं आते. Five से आते, four don't come. So point five. Let us see point five. Question number three of 2018. Question number three of 2018 is from point five. See how simple they are asking. School level. क्या पूछा है? 
what do you mean by msp you know many people are not even able to write that what do you mean by msp what is msp how will msp rescue the farmers from the low income trap so low income trap first of all you should know what is low income trap okay low income trap is nothing but taking further loans to repay existing loans so they are in a trap now why because their income is low yes or no their income is very low so uh, money lenders and all they take advantage of farmers and then they are in a trap low income trap okay chalo 2017 question sorry 2018 question 3 done this is point 5 ah huh? 2019 question 13 2019 question 13 2019 question 13 is it directly not is it not directly from the syllabus what are the reformative steps taken by the government to make food grain distribution system matlab kya pds more effective do you know we have syllabus point pds objective functioning revamping reformative steps straight again what makes this question interesting approachable as well as slightly difficult is 15 marks not 10 marks so you have to write a lot many points about pds but please bear in mind many points about reformative steps so you have to explain limitations first and then how these reforms but limitations constitute only 20% of your answer 80% has to be reformative steps don't write any other thing buffer stock food security subsidies don't go into that just because you know do not write okay this thing happens if you have studied a lot you will know a lot of things but what is asked that write that okay otherwise no use examiner do, doesn't care how much you know examiner cares how much you write or how well meaningful succinct and really, uh, relevant you write theek okay? hai did you write this 2019 question 13 point number 5 point number 5 did we write one more before this 2018 question 3 this was 2019 question 13 2018 question 13 is also there third one 2018 question 13 so see i told you na question number bhi same hota hai yaar 2018 question 13 see the question please write this in point 4 this is an error i think this this sounds more like point 4 right farm income and all of that productivity 5 may be aa sakta hai 4 may be aa sakta hai depending whatever okay so what have they asked scheme pucha hai mission pucha hai national horticulture mission in boosting the production productivity and income of horticulture farms see again what are they asking kya boost karna hai production productivity and income these are different things so everywhere in agriculture every everywhere in agriculture their focus is on income or production productivity efficiency theek hai income efficiency in focus is on these two things whenever you read please focus on these two things please pay attention how to improve these two things with respect to farmers how far has it succeeded see are they asking the features are they asking the objectives are they asking the successes are they asking the failures what what are they asking they are asking how far has it succeeded in increasing the income of farmers now here they are asking only about income pay attention to this there they asked production productivity and income here they are asking only income and they are asking ki evaluate check karo how far it has been successful in its objective yes or no so you have to write ki whether it has been successful why whether it has not been successful why or whether it has been moderately successful why and why not what what further is required samjha are you understanding the demand of the question see understanding the demand of the question is much more important than understanding the content because content once you understand you will read you will understand but 
whether to write that or instead of that something else to be written wo kaise pata chalega that will happen only due to past year question analysis yes or no very simple 2018 question number 13 2018 question number 13 how many questions are we done three questions in point 5 three questions let's go to sir we did not see any question from 2013 right yet in agriculture let's go to 2013 let's go to 2013 in agriculture we have seen a lot of economics questions in 2013 2013 question number 3 nahi sorry 4 4 4 2013 क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर क्या है क्वेश्चन फोर डू वी हैव अ सिलेबस पॉइंट ऑन फूड सिक्योरिटी इश्यूज रिलेटिंग टू बफर स्टॉक्स एंड फूड सिक्योरिटी सो देर वॉज अ न्यू बिल देर वॉज अ न्यू एक्ट इन टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन विच वॉज गोइंग टू it was passed in 2013 only so it was latest ekdam hot hot garam garam current affairs so they had asked this food security bill is expected to eliminate hunger and malnutrition in india critically discuss various apprehensions in its effective implementations one ki in india what will be the issues when you implement this second along with the concerns it has generated in wto do you remember public stock holding of food grain issue in wto aggregate measure of subsidy in wto de minimis in wto amber box subsidy in wto did you know uh, did you notice uh, or do you remember group of 33 india china led agricultural countries before generating concerns or before passing the bill they had asked this question ki concerns it has generated in wto same thing you have to write here ki because we are procuring a lot of food grains i had told you i had explained you this because we are procuring a lot of food grains the prices are artificially manipulated and they might be manipulated in the world market also and if they are reduced in the world market then that creates unnecessary burden for other exporters indian exporters are will you know flourish so concerns theek hai this is all this is all uh, the second part is on agreement of agriculture the first part is within india what will happen you know lot of cost has to be incurred lot of subsidies have to be given big deficit will happen because of this all these are implementational concerns this was 2013 question number 4 next 2013 question number 5 see how easy it is see how easy they have asked sir they don't ask easy question nowadays i told you in 2020 paper also i showed you they had asked easy questions what are the constraints in transport and marketing simple 2013 question number 5 टेक्स्ट बुक क्वेश्चन है स्कूल क्वेश्चन है नाउ विच वुड हैव मोर वेटेज फर्स्ट और सेकंड पार्ट सेकंड पार्ट ऑब्वियसली राइट डिस्टॉर्शन क्रिएटेड बाय इट एग्रीकल्चरल सब्सिडी रेजीम एंड डिस्टॉर्शन क्रिएटेड बाय इट नाउ दीज डिस्टॉर्शन कैन बी इन द डोमेस्टिक मार्केट कैन बी इन द इंटरनेशनल मार्केट ऑल्सो द वन हु रियलाइज दिस द वन हु राइट वन और टू पॉइंट अबाउट इंटरनेशनल मार्केट ही विल गेट एडिशनल मार्क्स because normally we think distortions in the in india only right but we know wto and agriculture are now closely linked so anything that happens in wto might have an impact on agri or vice versa so you have to write one or two points a 10 marker is jada nahi hai so majority of the focus would go on uh distortions in india second priority will be different types of agricultural subsidies third priority would be distortions in the world priority wise i am telling you but you have to mention distortions created in the world market or possible distortions this was 2013 question number 5 okay yes or no this was 2013 question number 5 same question 2015 question number again massively news trust me massively news this question the news massively news kya hai 
direct and indirect subsidies they have asked what are the different types of subsidies and how is dbt how is dbt uh, how will dbt affect or you know how will replacing subsidies with dbt affect the scenario of or the process of subsidies in india theek hai simple again very easy 12 and half marker 2015 question 5 one more question from the same paper 2015 only question number 2 tell me which sub point economics of animal rearing storage is in point 4 sir we are talking about point 5 economics of animal rearing 2015 question number 2 okay so this was all for point 5 do we recollect what is point 5 issues relating to direct and indirect farm subsidies one second kya tha second direct and indirect farm subsidies and minimum support prices pds objectives functioning limitations revamping issues relating to buffer stock and food security technology missions and economics of animal rearing this is point number 5 next we go to point 6 can we recollect what is point 6 food processing and related industries in india scope and significance location upstream downstream requirements supply chain management aise hai na kuch राइट पॉइंट सिक्स लेटस मूव टू पॉइंट सिक्स सिंस वी आर इन 2015 इसी का लिख लेते हैं 2015 क्वेश्चन नंबर सी पॉइंट सिक्स इज वेरी नाइस वन क्वेश्चन ऑलमोस्ट एवरी ईयर वन सिंपल क्वेश्चन विल कम 2015 पॉइंट सॉरी क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स क्वेश्चन सिक्स 2015 क्या पूछा है e-commerce can obviously help it helps in everything so if you write no e-commerce cannot help then there is very difficulty that you will get marks you know it is very difficult for you to get marks then okay what are the impediments in marketing and supply chain management in developing the food processing industry in india can e-commerce help in overcoming those bottlenecks and of course you cannot write yes and leave it you have to give reasons how you have to state how but again what have they asked impediments in marketing and supply chain management in developing food processing industry in india what do you think are the is the biggest impediment of marketing kya lagta hai you have made a product parle ji marketing mein sabse bada problem kya aayega what do you think i hope you know what is marketing prachar so what do you think is the biggest problem in marketing anything that comes to your mind what can go wrong with marketing or what can stop you from marketing or what is what will make marketing difficult what do you think very simple answer cost one ad in tv cost crores of rupees cost of marketing is very high in india cost tv ad radio ad newspaper ad you know that small ad you see in the hindu classes ka any classes ad that one small box on the right hand side margin that one small box cost anywhere between 12000 to 20000 rupees one day just imagine marketing me cost is very high write this down 2015 question number 6 2015 question number 6 since it is question number 6 we are talking about let us go to 2013 question number 6 2013 क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स सिक्स का है सिक्स यहां है छुपा हुआ है क्या ये वॉट इज इट टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस इज एक्चुअली अ मिक्स पॉइंट ऑफ पॉइंट फाइव एंड पॉइंट सिक्स they have club point 5 point 5 may economics of animal rearing and point 6 food industry what is pink revolution can you guess what is white revolution do you know milk green revolution crops what what do you think is pink revolution poultry 
meat. So it is both, na? it is economics of animal rearing as well as food processing also may aa jata hai na? Nowadays you get packaged meat, right? So it is 0 0.5, 0 0.6 combination, but India needs to strengthen measures to promote pink revolution in food industry for ensuring better nutrition and health. So you must have uh, seen certain Tendulkar ads, Sunday ho ya, Monday, Roj ka one day, all those ads, you know, you must be very small when those ads used to run. So better nutrition and health. So you have to write about uh, how to promote pink revolution in the food industry for, but see the focus should be on nutrition and health. The focus is not on anything else. The focus is not on storage. The focus is not on transport. Anything else apart from nutrition and health will not give you marks. Will give you le less marks. So how to promote pink revolution or how to promote that industry to ensure nutrition and health. Fears have to be removed. Contamination has to be prevented. Uh, kya bolte? Cold, cold storage has to be there. Then you should say ki proper labeling has to be done. Kitne din ka manufacturing hai, right? Because meats expire very soon. In normal temperature, they expire within a day. You have to keep, you have to store it in uh, sub-zero temperatures, right? Uncooked raw meat. Wo hai. 2013 question number 6. Nee, kya hai? 6, na? 15, 6 done, 13, 6 done. Then let us go to 2017 question number 5. 2017 question number 5, where is 17? Read the question. What are the reasons for poor acceptance of cost effective small processing unit? Food processing unit. How the food processing unit will be helpful to uplift the socio economic status of poor farmers? So, how does it help farmers? That is what they are asking. Second part. And what are the reasons for poor acceptance of cost effective small processing unit? Poor acceptance by whom? By those who are willing to open it. Poor acceptance ki, no, I will not open, I am reluctant to open. What are the reasons? Funding is not there, loans cannot be taken or marketing is not there. See, even if you open your own small household papad workshop or you know, uh, papad factory, if you stay in a very remote area, then who will buy papad from you, right? If there are no good roads for your marketing or for your transport rather, who will buy papad from you, right? So, those are the, so pay attention here. Cost effective small processing units. See, you know, in life, poor people have their problems and rich people also have their different kind of problems, right? They are also under very much under stress. So, don't think that rich people live very comfortably. Physically, materially, they live comfortably. Mentally, they might not. Okay? Similarly, big processing units also have their own issues. Like I told you, cost of TV ad. But that will not be a problem for small processing unit because it will, it will not want to do ad in a TV, right? So, what can be the problems of small processing unit? Exploitation can be one. You know, anything you can th uh, think of. This is the beauty of agriculture. Anything you can think of fits here. The only thing is it should not be too vague or too irrelevant. Okay? So, now UPSC has told us that food processing units can be divided into small and big. By asking this question indirectly, UPSC has told us Ki small alag karo, big alag karo. So, prepare separately now, small and big. Tomorrow it can ask issues about big processing units also. They have tax issues. You know, big, big units, they have tax issues. Red tape is hum import nahi kar paate. They have different issues, small have different issues. See, before this, before we saw this question, we didn't think about division of food processing industries into small and big. Now do that. Do that into unorganized and organized sector also. What is organized? What is unorganized? We'll see that. Okay? How will it ultimately help to uplift the socio-economic status of poor farmers? Now, here there are two things. One, the farmers only making food processing unit. Four or five farmers came together. They say, we anyways grow crops. Let us start process also. 
we anyways grow let's say lemons so let us start making lemon pickle okay second second variant of this is small food processing units are set up in village areas which will help the farmers to unload their produce so they are not owned by farmers owned by farmers but they are regularly buying lemons from farmers ho gaya socio economic uplift so you can write all these things see a question is mains question is open to various interpretations as far as you or so long as you answer the demand of the question anything you write which makes sense is fine but you should one write meaningful things don't write which do, don't write something which doesn't make sense or which is actually wrong second write something which is uh, very relevant to the question which is asked even if you write meanings so in this in this question if you write problems of large food processing units then it is a meaningful answer but it is not a relevant answer meaningful na it has meaning yaar what you have written is absolutely correct but this is not what i had asked if i tell you prepare chapter number 2 you will prepare chapter number 4 it is not relevant but meaningful to hai but we we get marks on all of the relevant bhi hona chahiye meaningful bhi hona chahiye upsc is so demanding right everything it wants did you write this 2017 question number 5 then 2018 question number 4 2018 question number 4 now tell me where will you find the answer to this question it's a very practical question it's a very general awareness question supermarkets in supply chain management of fruits vegetable and food items and how do they eliminate number of intermediaries theek okay, hai they are asking about something called as kahan gaya we will see that but they are asking indirectly they are asking about something called as contract farming so big bazaar will have a contract directly with the farmers na it will not buy from agent before that you need to know how agricultural goods are bought and sold we'll do all of that theek okay? hai but do you see it is a very general question it is not something very high fi in concept and all nahi hai agriculture mein there are no concepts only that 0.5 pdas buffer stock those are the concepts which we need to know but overall agriculture mein common sense rules and yes there are some specific keywords which you should use msp buffer stock food security all of those things contract farming did you write this 2018 question 4 2018 question 4 say we go to 2020 question 4 okay yeah read this take your time read this what are the challenges and opportunities of food processing so you should know that challenge and opportunity to different theek okay? hai how can income of see again they are asking only two three things productivity income productivity income efficiency alag alag words use karke they are asking the same thing so always we are see this is what we do this is what is smart work this is what we are analyzing paper for so tomorrow if you read an article which speaks about increasing productivity हाथ जोड़ के प्लीज यूज दैट इन योर नोट्स प्लीज रिवाइज दैट एंड प्लीज राइट दैट ये सो नो टुमारो इफ इट स्पीक्स अबाउट फार्म इनकम वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई विल कीप ऑन पोस्टिंग इन आर ग्रुप वी हैव क्रिएटेड अ न्यू चैनल जस्ट येस्टरडे सो एंड लकीली वी हैव क्रॉस्ड 300 सब्सक्राइबर्स इन अ डे सो 
I will keep on posting whatever is relevant for UPSC. Might not be from Hindu or Indian Express, might be from some business newspaper, but it is directly relevant for us. Padke. See, UPSC doesn't care about the source. Na. As far as it is getting good quality content, it will give you marks. Chalo. See, this question in 2020, what are the challenges and opportunities of food processing sector in the country? How can income of farmers be substantially increased by encouraging food processing? Is it not similar to the previous question that we saw? Small food processing industries, how do they help in improving income of farmers? Same question. UPSC repeats question in prelims, UPSC repeats question in mains. Okay, so let me show you one magic. I am in mode for some magic. I will show you one previous year question. See this question. This is art and culture question. Huh? For one minute I am showing you magic. Small break. This is a question which appeared in 2014. You might know the answer, you might not know the answer. Okay? It's an art and culture question. This is a question which appeared in 2014 and this is a question which appeared in 2015. I am not joking. Question number alag hai. What have they changed? Thoda what? See 1, 3, 4 they have kept, 3 and 4 they have kept, 2 and 4, 2 and 3. Is it not same? Word by word. Right? So, UPSC does that in mains also. Might not be same words, might be some different words, but preparing past year questions is the key to, you know, getting ahead. Where were we? Which did we see last? 2000? 20 question 4, 2019 question 14, 2019 question 14, see what nonsense, see this, simple, straight, straight, elaborate the policy taken by government, so you need to see it's a 15 marker, now we will discuss, ki kaise karenge isko? it's a small question but 15 marks ke liye, to policy taken is one part, what is the second part? Find the second part. Right? What you will write first, the first part or the second part? Second part you will write first and then you have to write policy. So, can we say 65, 35 weightage? So, 35 you have to write challenges and 65 you have to write policy taken because main to policy taken hai. but policy taken is not sufficient one one clue was it's a 15 marker second clue is ki it's without challenges you cannot understand policies taken and now policies are taken to solve or to reduce or to minimize challenges Thik hai? write this 2019 question 14 are you understanding? So far we have seen questions from 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. By the way, all questions are done except one. I will come to that. Okay. We have seen all these questions. Did we write 2017 question in this 0.6? 2017 question 5. Okay. How many 6? 6, 0.6 has 6 questions. Did we write all 6? 0.6. Okay. So, the point of this exercise was as usual like we did for economics also as usual ki, to know what is being asked. So, now we know that questions from agriculture are very easy. Sometimes from 0.4 some difficult questions might arise but 0.5 and 0.6 are very easy questions. Straightforward they are asking. Right? Newspaper is our biggest ally and usse bhi bada ally is economic survey. Okay? Which will come in June, uh, in Jan. Right? Now, I will show you one question which was a mixture of all these points. Point number 4, point number 5, point number 6. Ho sakta hai. There are questions where UPSC will ask a mixture of environment, science and tech and uh, this thing, economy. Theek hai? So, write down, you know, just draw that as a bracket covering all point 0.4, point 0.5, point 0.6 and write down 
2017 question 15 2017 question 15 read the question take time read the question 15 It has flavors of all three. Subsidies bhi hai, cropping pattern is also there, economy of farmers is so there obviously, crop insurance, MSP is also there, food processing is also there. Now this makes it the easiest question of the paper. Why? Because there are so many things to write. As opposed to the previous question where they had asked only government initiatives but for 15 marks. Here it's a 15 marker but they are asking so many things. See, I'll show you how many parts. How do subsidies affect cropping pattern? First part. Crop diversity, second part. Economy of farmers, third part. What is the significance of crop insurance, fourth part. Minimum support price, fifth part. And food processing for small and marginal farmers, sixth part. Six parts you have to write. 15 marks. Even if you write two points for each part, 12, po 12 points to essay ho jate. Plus intro, plus conclusion. You will have a lot of trouble in fighting for space here. Because you will know so many, six parts, you know. And if, if you don't cover even one part, nah, your marks will go. You will lose marks. That is the challenge. Every question has its challenges. So this is a, cha this is a problem of plenty. There is a, there is a psychological uh, phenomena which is known as psychological or psychoeconomic phenomena which is known as problem of plenty. So if you don't get food for two days, you will know that having food is so important. When you go to a hotel, you spend 15 minutes, 20 minutes just to decide what to eat. So many options are there. Problem of plenty. Both are bad. Not having even one thing is also bad and having 100 things are also bad. Okay? And I am sure most of us will relate to clothes also, what to wear. And in, as children, we used to think, birthday party mein what to wear. Right? So that is also problem of plenty. If you have only four pairs of clothes, you know it's messy good pen. Okay, nowadays to food ordering and all has come. People spend one hour just to decide what to eat, what to order, etc. Okay, so this is a problem of plenty question. You will have a lot of words, lot of uh, content to write, but not a lot of space to write. Okay, but make sure you address all the parts. If if imagine you write, write, write and then you realize there is no space for food processing. So what will Problem? Because that will not be a complete answer. Okay? So write 2017 question 15. Did you write that? Let us quickly, what is point number 5? What is point number 5? Issues relating to direct and indirect. Direct and indirect farm subsidies and minimum support price. PDS, uh, objectives, functions, limitations, revamping, issues of buffer stock and food security, technology missions and economics of animal rearing what is point number 6 food processing and its food processing and related industries scope and significance location upstream downstream requirements and supply chain management what is point number 4 major crops and cropping patterns in various parts of the country different types of irrigation irrigation systems storage transport marketing of agricultural produce and issues and related constraints e technology in the aid of farmers and economics of animal rearing. Okay, so we'll stop this lecture here. Uh, all the questions of agriculture have been analyzed. Less questions come. We have seen overall economy took a lot of time, and and you must have noticed in schemes questions. A uh, lot of questions come on schemes. A lot of questions are simple, which come on schemes. And uh, agriculture is very easily imaginable. See, I told you in economics, ki the difficulty with economics is that unlike history and polity, you can't imagine. In agriculture, you can imagine. 
there is no abstract thing in agriculture so if i tell you farmers are not getting enough money you will know ki you you know instantly you imagine poor farmers they are not getting money they are being robbed of their rightful land and all everything so that makes agriculture very easy the thing is you will have to give more time to study economy compared to agriculture because this can be revised very quickly economy mein concepts hai theek hai tax to gdp ratio you have to think actually ki kya hota hai tax to gdp it's a very technical thing i hope my lectures have helped you to understand and simplify it in some manner right so we will begin with agriculture in the next lecture we'll complete agriculture after a few lectures after that one or two lectures will wrap up economy portion inclusive growth industries wala part and then i will hand over the baton to you that you have to study you have to revise you have to prepare notes and you have to keep on uh, you know reading newspapers and uh, you know revising it theek hai and i'll always be there on zoom sessions main to hui main kahan jaunga i will be there right so we'll stop here and we'll continue in the next lecture with agriculture very interesting uh, agriculture very easy also and uh, very scoring i mean imagine you cannot write a bad answer if you know the answer na iska jiska bhi ho if you know the answer food processing paanch che point hi hai there aisa koi rocket point nahi hai in economy the quality matters because some people might write very rudimentary economics ki this happens this happens. some people might go advanced savings rate growth rate agriculture mein similar hai marks almost people get similar so it's a very vanilla subject don't worry about it you have to worry about agriculture in environment and geography because that is a major chunk theek okay? hai so we'll stop here we'll continue in the next one thank you